Hey guys, welcome back. So got a foundation demo and review for y'all today on the Pure Cosmetics Bare It All 12 Hour 4 in 1 Skin Perfecting Foundation. So I'm gonna do like I normally do in my foundation reviews. We'll talk about the pricing, talk about some of the claims on this foundation. I'll show you a little demo of how I like to apply this foundation and what it looks like as I'm applying it. And then I'm gonna do just a little like wrap up on what I'm thinking about this foundation. What are my overall thoughts and review on this foundation? So let's get to it. So starting with the pricing and claims on this foundation, this foundation is $39 and you get 1.5 fluid ounces in here, which is a good amount of product. So I'm gonna read some information about this foundation from the Pure Cosmetics website. So it says the highlights, dare to go bare. Skin is the sexiest part of the body and this high performance 12 hour demi matte foundation helps to cover imperfections and instantly perfect the skin while helping to correct problem areas over time so you can confidently bear it all. Designed for face and body and formulated with Pure's proprietary energy complex and serotonin complex, this formula renews the look of your skin and goes the distance. It will not fade, quit, or crumble under any condition you may face throughout the day. And then under benefits, it says it's paraben-free, vegan, gluten-free, and BPA-free. So those are all really nice attributes about it. Now for application, let me read what it says about application. It says, using the Skin Perfecting Foundation Brush, which is this right here, Apply bare it all all over the face, blending from the center of the face and sweep outward. Apply disappearing ink concealer with the, I don't have that concealer, but this is the other little brush you're talking about. Apply disappearing ink concealer with the skin perfecting concealer brush on top of bare it all and set with the dusting of four in one mineral makeup. So I don't have that concealer and I don't have that powder, but I do have the brushes. Um, as far as application, I really don't like this brush. Um, it's not bad, but I just feel like I have to hold it like at the base because it feels kind of like flimsy or something to me. And I'm just not used to these kind of brushes. So I like to use just my um, brush from Sephora. This is the mineral powder brush number 45 that's just like my preferred brush to use but their recommended application is to use this brush now that we talked a little bit about the claims and benefits of this foundation we're going to get into the demo and i'm going to show you my preferred way of applying it okay so the primer that i found that i like to use with this foundation the most is my laura mercier foundation primer blemishless i just find that it helps like control the oil throughout the day and Mainly that, like I don't feel like this foundation needs any like perfecting with the skin, but for me, I find that it needs a little bit of help as far as longevity. So this helps kind of control that oil and help with that. So I'm gonna show you how I apply it and then I'm gonna let you know how I would recommend actually applying it. So I would recommend doing it by sections on your face because this does seem to set pretty quickly. But since I wear a combo of two colors, it's kind of a pain in the booty to have to like, you know, do this multiple times, get it on my brush. So I just go ahead and dab it on, but I think that it would blend even better if you would go section by section. So that's just a little recommendation, but it, it does still blend like this, but it just sets pretty quickly. So I have to work fast. So there is one quick coat. So you can see, I mean, pretty darn good. I mean, you can still see just a little bit of like discoloration and kind of like acne spots and stuff showing through, but for the most part, like it really does help just kind of even out the skin. Has a very just kind of like satin sort of a finish, very skin-like, but more on the satin to matte side. So I'm gonna take just a little bit more and apply just a little bit more in those areas. I want a little bit more coverage and I'll show you that in a second. So there's just a little bit more coverage in just certain spots on my face, but I really like how this foundation looks on the skin. I think it's just a perfect combo between looking skin-like, but also on that satin matte sort of end of the spectrum, which I really do like. So I love how it looks on the skin. I've just been doing it with a brush. I haven't even tried it with a beauty blender just because I like how it looks with the brush. So, and I prefer to apply foundation with a brush. So if it works that way, 
that's how I like to do it. So I'm gonna finish up the rest of my makeup and I'll be back with some more thoughts. Now let's go back and talk about those claims. I'm gonna give you a little wrap up on what I'm thinking about this foundation. So it says this high performance 12 hour demi matte foundation. So high performance, I would say yes. I think this is a great foundation. I think it performs really nicely. It's a really, really good foundation. So I think it does perform really well. So I would say high performance. I would say demi matte because it's not full on matte, but it's definitely not glowy. So I think demi matte is a really good way of describing it. It's kind of that like satin matte sort of a finish. So I think that's very accurate. Now 12 hour. This really does not last 12 hours on me. I've noticed it kind of like, um, really has a lot to do with like hormonal changes. Just some days my skin is oilier than others. Now on those days that I'm super oily, I notice I get pretty oily with this foundation. So I do almost always wear it with some kind of like a mattifying primer or something that would help with the longevity of it. So I find that that really does help, but it really still is affected by how oily my skin is. So on my oilier days where I'm super oily, I get oily with this foundation, but on my days where I'm more kind of like combo, oily, normal, it lasts super, super well. And even on the days that I get really oily with it, it doesn't break down. So overall, I wouldn't say it's a 12 hour foundation, at least not on me with my combo oily skin, especially on those super oily days, but it does stick around. It just gets oilier but doesn't break down. Then it says helps to cover imperfections and instantly perfect the skin while helping to correct problem areas over time. I'm not sure about the overtime part because I haven't used it long enough to really know about that, but cover imperfections and instantly perfect the skin, I would say yes, definitely. This looks beautiful on the skin. It helps to like blur everything, blur pores, fine lines, just like even everything out. It does cover imperfections, especially when you apply just a little bit more in those areas that you might want a little bit more coverage. It really just looks beautiful on the skin. So I would say absolutely it does both of those things. And then it says, um, this formula renews the look of your skin and goes the distance. It will not fade, quit, or crumble under any condition you may face throughout the day. Yes, I would say it does that. I mean, it really does renew the look of your skin and look beautiful, just like I described. It's a gorgeous looking foundation on the skin. Goes the distance, won't fade, quit, or crumble. I don't know of any foundation that I found crumbles. Maybe on drier skin it could do that, but not this one. But I could see how others could maybe do it. But yeah, I would say that this definitely does all those things because even on the days that I get oilier, it's not like it's breaking down. I just look a little bit oilier. And on my days that I'm more combo normal, it really just looks beautiful throughout the day. So I think that it really does deliver on almost all of those claims except for the 12 hour wear. And that might have to do more with my skin type than anything else. So my overall thoughts and review on this foundation is that I really do like it. I think it looks beautiful on the skin. It really perfects everything, wears well throughout the day. Who do I think will really like this foundation? Um, definitely people who are looking for more demi matte, satin matte sort of a finish. If you're looking for a dewy foundation, this is not the one. If you're looking for a more light coverage, I don't think this would be the one for you either because this is more kind of medium to full. So people who are looking for medium to full. As far as skin type, um, if you're super oily, I think you're gonna have to do some prepping. If you're really dry, I'm honestly not sure because I don't have dry patches on my face. Um, at least not right now. I like rarely do. Occasionally I'll have one or two little dry patches, but I don't right now. I'm not sure. There's a possibility that it could cling um, just because it's kind of like, it's almost drying down to that powdery sort of a finish, you know? Um, so I would say get a sample if you're super dry, just so you're not committed to a full tube. I mean, you could always, you know, return it based on where you get it. I think most places return, but I would think just get a sample if you're super dry and try it out and see what you think and maybe just prep your skin really well. But I would say anybody from like combo dry to combo oily, I think this would definitely be a foundation for you. I think that's kind of the ideal range, but I think opposite ends of the spectrum as well, super oily, super dry, I think you could probably make it work as well. All right guys, so that wraps up my review and demo on the Pure Cosmetics Bare It All Foundation. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful for you. Please hit a thumbs up if it was and let me know down below if you tried this foundation, what do you think about it and what is your skin type? I think that would be really helpful for everybody reading through the comments to hear different experiences. Ask me any questions that you have, I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.